Hello, Gail here. Um, it's been a while since my last um, little chat because I've just been so busy. I've had so many things on my list, getting ready for Christmas, you know. I've um, just this minute got the baby quilt, the uh, Very Hungry Caterpillar quilt all um, pinned together. So I'm going to be starting quilting that tonight. Um, so I'm glad that's out of the way. And I've chosen my Christmas present said to my husband I want this for Christmas so I bought a kit which I probably won't do for another five years but you know it makes me a happy bunny so let's see if I can find you a picture that's the actual it's a crocheting it's um you know a rug type throw thing but I'm doing it in that color way isn't it gorgeous it's called Summer Palace, the blanket pattern, um, and it's by Janie Crow. And this is the wool. And this is the rest of the wool. Mind you, I don't think it's wool, I think it's acrylic. Anyway. My husband can um, wrap that up for me and um, I'll be doing that. In fact, I've got two. <laughs> um, the other one I didn't get the kit for, I just bought the pattern. And yesterday I chose all the wools and um, paid for that. And uh, so when that comes, I shall show you that. That is probably going to come next week. So um, I'm feeling a lack of um, crochet, you see, because I've spent so long crocheting quilts and blanket, not quilts, blankets and um, baby clothes for um, my daughter's baby that um, I'm missing it now. I'm thinking she doesn't want any more. She says she's got enough to last her a good six months. Um, I am thinking of, of doing a pair of booties because her feet aren't really fitting in the socks or the little booties they bought and you know I don't want them to catch cold so although it'll have to wait because I'm busy doing other things as well but that's that's really gorgeous isn't it I'm doing this colorway the blue rather than the the more standard this is like blues and pinks and all sorts of different things and I'm doing another one by her which I'll tell you about next time um, I've bought some some material as usual so this is um, the material I've got this time and I don't know if I'm going to find out who this is by because I have bought this um, from a de-stashing group it's Flutter Bright by Fabric Freedom you know lately I, I've been thinking about you know the environment and the impact I know you hear it everywhere about the impact of making fabric of the dyes on the water supplies and and also you know we send it to China or India to be processed and dyed and then it goes to America especially Moda who I like to buy and then they send it to England and I'm thinking oh, you know that's not really very environmentally fair is it for me to do that so I feel a little bit better buying it off someone in England who they've paid for all that to happen um, so it's kind of recycling isn't it Re reselling it and buying it off somebody else and I'm, I'm going to try and limit my fabric buying so I might not be getting it every week we'll have to see this another one is uh, somebody else's stash that I've bought off them I do like this range I don't know if it's written on it's it's by three sisters um, I don't think it actually it's chocolate by three sisters by Moda and I have got some of their other fabrics saved away for a project uh, and not a project I don't know I bought it intentionally I'll just get it Okay, here I am. I decided I wanted to make a quilt with hearts. So first of all, I've bought all these William Morris um, backgrounds to do the backgrounds of the quilt. So these are all pale, as you can see, and I'm going to um, 
piece them together in a kind of patchworky way, a mishmash. Some I've got several of. I've been collecting these for a while, only three more. So they're going to be the backgrounds and then on the foregrounds I'm going to do big hearts, big heart shapes and these are my heart fabrics. So I've no idea when I'm going to get round to doing this but um, I've been collecting these. I've stopped collecting them now, I've got enough I think, but I've been collecting these for a while with the intention of doing a nice pale quilt with big, big hearts on. So that's not really red is it? Anyway, you know, you buy a pack of fabric and sometimes you get ones you don't really like. Or maybe I could use that for the label. But I've got a lot of these. There's another one that's not really red. Although, you know, and they might look nice. I've got this one. Uh, I've got this grunge. So, this, some of those are by Three Sisters and that's what these, this is by Moda Three Sisters. Um, I have finished, I've finished um, sewing my blocks around the other quilt and I'll sure show you that when it gets a bit more done because it's a bit wheedly and big at the moment. And um, also this week I got a charm pack, a charm pack of songbook by Moda with all these different fabrics and colours in. So I don't know what I'm going to make with that. And I've got some coordinating fabric, a piece that is part of the range. There it is, I think. There. Ooh. Ooh, it's been awkward. There we are. See? So it goes. So there, they are my um, purchases. Oh, look what I've got here. I didn't know I had this in here. This is the pattern for the other crocheted blanket that I've, I've got for Christmas. Isn't that lovely? Woo so I've ordered the balls of wool. I've not gone with the balls of wool recommended um, because every everywhere I went online, online shopping I do, um, nobody had every ball. So um, I've chosen something else. That's it. Gorgeous, isn't it? It's got, it uses just 12 colours and this is Mystical Lanterns Throw, again by Janie Crow, also known as Jane Crowfoot. So I'm gonna be busy doing them in a few years. Ha, uh, maybe next year, maybe 2025 who knows some point or other I really should stop buying things because you know when am I got my daughters are always saying you know you won't live long enough to get all this done which you know may well be true I'm going to have to get up earlier in the morning and spend more time sewing and crocheting aren't I crocheting is of course much easier to do than knitting I mean knitting isn't hard to do it's just when you make a mistake you know and you have to unknit it crochet you just pull it off just pull it all to pieces oh and that that um baby cardigan I was showing you that I ran out of wool um I went to every shop I've ever bought wool from and I discovered that it is made by a company that ceased trading two years ago so um nowhere could I buy a ball of their mercenized cotton in cream Wendy's um, other colours were still available, you know, three here and two there, but no cream that I could find and you know you can't spend 24 hours a day on the internet looking can you? You have to make a decision somewhere or other. So I've undone it and I'm going to make a hat instead which won't require quite so much um, wool, thread, yarn as they call it now don't they? Yarn. So um, I think I'll leave you there. I've got lots of things to sort out. Here I've got some nice fleece, some nice red fleece. I've got to make some stockings. Um, there's a game, 
at, at Christmas, you see, we always play games. And last Christmas, we did games between three households because uh, we didn't meet up and it was so much fun. So this year we're doing it again, even though we might be able to meet up. We're not going to, we're going to do it online and we're going to play games. And one of the games we're playing is the sock game. I, I'm not sure what it's actually called in real life, you know, but it's a sock game and it's, it's played between two teams. Each team has a sock and there's, I don't know if there's a card or a spinner or something that you turn over that tells you what to get out of the sock. So somebody on the team has to delve around in the sock, feeling around until they find the button or the dice, whatever's in there. So I thought, oh, that will be good because I can send socks off to various houses and we can all play it together. But because there's three of us, uh, our household and my two daughters that do it online, um, that would mean I would need to buy two kit, two of the games. And I thought, well, I don't really want to spend that much money. So I've decided to make my own. And after spending a good 12 hours online looking for a long sock, because you can't be, you know, it has to be a long, thick sock, like um, a, a football sock or um, a fisherman's sock, so that you have to dig, delve right down in you and you're looking, you know, you're feeling around for whatever has, you've been told to get out of there. And... Um, I couldn't find any. Well, I could, but I'm not paying $17.99 for two socks and then having to buy two pairs of socks. So I thought, right, well, I'll just make my own. So I've got this fleece and I'm going to try and make long Christmas stocking type socks um, that people can stick their arm right down to the end and feel around for the things that are in there. And I've bought all sorts of things. I mean, obviously, some things are available in the house, like... Um, jigsaw pieces and key rings, coin and things like that. But I bought three sticky slugs. <laughs> oh, I had such fun on Amazon. But I've got three inch plastic spiders. Um, of course I've bought dice. I've already got lots of things but some things I've had a lot of fun buying and um, and I've even bought Christmas themed um, key rings so they're a key ring and they've got like a wooden Christmas tree or a wooden snowman um, for you to paint. It's a craft kit type thing. So I'm going to have to paint those and um, I'm going to enjoy myself. I am enjoying myself getting it all ready. And um, we're also playing that game where you have to find a fork with uh, the quickest person to bring a fork to the screen will be the winner and um, you get extra points if you find a fork say with a, a broken prong or whatever as well as um, who am I and and general pub quiz type things we it, it was a lot of fun last year we won of course we're the elders we have more knowledge I think we got something like 36 points and the others got 32 28 something like that but yeah it was very funny um, so we're doing that again last year so I've got a lot I've got a lot um, this evening I'm going to be quilting and um, maybe tomorrow I'll cut out these stockings or maybe I'll wait till the quilting's done. Um, I don't know when I'm going to finish that quilt. I might do some now actually while I'm still in the shed. And, uh, and of course <laughs> I've got to tidy up all the stuff that I've just got dumped all around here now. Um, so hopefully it won't be so long until I come back and chat again. And um, I hope you all... Um, Enjoy yourself in the meantime. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.